a Category 4, but the downgrade really doesn't mean much. This is still a very large and dangerous storm. That Good morning. I'm just now realizing we still have not taken down the balloon arch from Emma's birthday party. It's one of the bigger ones that I've made. That thing down. It's gonna. I'm waiting for it to just die on its own. What? I said I'm waiting for it to just die on its own. Yeah, but now it's so balloons. deflated. I think Play. it's gonna be harder no, to pop. Let's just keep it there till next year. <laughs> It'll be deflated by that point, and then we can just throw it in the trash. Yeah, It'll yeah, be perfect. Yeah. One of the worst things is trying to pop all those balloons. Well, now it's gonna be harder because they're not inflated as much. Anyways, we are on um, storm watch. That's the first time I think that we've ever tropical said that. Storm tropical watch. storm. So it's like Hurricane Since Hillary. 1939. Is that really? That's the last time. The last yeah. time. The new hurricane that's developing over by Mexico right now, it's called Hurricane Hillary. And I guess by the time it makes landfall to where we are, it's just gonna be a tropical storm. But the thing is, California is not prepared for that. Like they are just not made for weather like that. Like people in Florida, us Californians have no idea what we're doing. And a lot of these properties are not built for like flooding. So we don't really know what we're gonna expect, especially cause our house is kind of like down a slope. That's the only thing that kind of concerns me is like our garage door. We have a drain like at the bottom of the garage door that I'm hoping should help. But I don't know like how much it's going to help. So we're hoping that it's not it's not too bad. Some areas of our city already get super flooded when we get like a normal rain. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm really not sure what to expect, but I think Justin's gonna go out tonight after he gets off of work and he's gonna grab just some extra water. We don't have a generator. I don't think we're going to need one to be completely honest. This is such a rare occurrence, but it's weird. We're like, we've never had to do this before in our entire, entire childhood, entire adulthood, and we have to be prepared for a hurricane. I'm also really hoping that all of our new fruit trees over here and my apple tree withstand the winds because I guess the winds are gonna be kind of crazy as well I'm hoping they withstand and don't topple over because I would be so Disappointed, but I'm just crossing my fingers that everything's gonna be okay. This is the most dad thing I've ever seen He's looking around like he's gonna know what to do about the storm. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I feel like you're the one that's gonna go out and be like, we need a generator. <laughs> I already have a generator. Oh, we do? Yeah. I didn't think we had one. I can still hear him listening to the news over there. He's been listening to it every day. Aside from the hurricane, hurricane aside. I'm really excited. I finally got my tattoos yesterday. I went and I got another one for Emma because I have birth flowers for all of the kids, but the, with the boys' tattoos, I got some animals that represented like their character traits when I got their tattoos for their birth flowers. And ever since then, Emma's like, why did did you not get something for me? So I decided to get something for her to go with her birth flower, which I've already had for a while. I decided on a little hummingbird. So this one is going to go along with her birth flower, which is right here. It's very small and dainty. I decided to get a hummingbird for her because they represent joy and healing. And I just feel like that is Emma. She is joy. She healed such a big part of our hearts when we had her. So I was so excited to get that. So I got a little hummingbird for her. And for Fei Fei, the kids call her Fei Fei instead of just Fei, but I got her birth flower as well, which is a a larkspur in this little empty space right here and then her name is Faye obviously which means fairy so I got two little fairies to go with her birth flower right here which I thought were so cute so so now everyone really has two tattoos alongside my arm and then I've got Brynn's right here as well with her handprint I just love it I think it turned out so good it's got like the second skin on there right now um, so it looks beautiful right now it'll start to heal in a couple of days, but I'm glad I finally got it done. And once this heals, I wanna go back and get more because now I'm like in it. Haley and I have been talking about getting matching ones for a long time, as well as Justin, as well as my sister, as well as I wanted one for Bobo. Just so many different tattoos that I'm turning to want to get now. <laughs> but I love it so much and I just love I don't know, I'm like so glad. It feels like my half sleeve is basically done. I could get a little bit more right here, but other than that, I love it. Sweating. It is about 7.30 and we've officially entered the calm before the storm. Everything is so still and quiet and in a couple hours, I think that's when it's going to hit the storm. Right now there's this beautiful sunset and I'm just enjoying it because I know in a couple of hours it's going to get crazy. But the winds have already been crazy today, I guess, because they just came out and this giant branch has fallen from our eucalyptus tree. 
um, and it hasn't even been that windy yet so I don't know if that's just bad timing or what the lights are coming on right now actually so we're just at dusk so we will see how things change in the next couple of hours but what a lovely sunset tonight here's our Sunday morning update so I didn't get woken up at all in the middle of the night I was kind of expecting to hear thunder or anything none of that so far although it did start raining it's still pretty light it's not it's not anything above like a drizzle the trees do kind of look like they got pushed down a bit but that just typically happens with a normal rain so still nothing too crazy although we have all day of rain apparently it's still calm enough that we're going to go to church this morning and then we'll see what awaits us when we get home what time is it? Okay, five o'clock and this is the update now. The rain has started to pick up. Some of the planters are starting to flood in the backyard. Do you think we should pull the chairs in? You don't think the winds will be that bad? Okay, so it's starting to kind of flood in some of the planters and the wind, but we haven't even gotten hit by the storm. I thought we were supposed to get hit last night, but now it's looking more like in the middle of tonight it'll probably. It's like it's just now hitting San Diego, which is still about an hour south. So we've still got some time until we're in the thick of it. So the wind just started. Yeah, literally just just began to pick up. So, anyways, it, it's looking like this. I can see some of those palm trees way out there. What? I said, look at those palm trees way out there. They're so uh, I don't know if you can see them on camera, but yeah, well, those are really tall and narrow, so that makes sense. I am starting dinner. I'm making some taco soup. That is like the best one pot meal. Plus, with this weather, I just feel like it's. It feels like fall for like a minute. So delicious and so easy. Ooh, yeah, that took the chairs. That moved the chairs finally. <laughs> we should probably pull this in. If my apple tree breaks, I'm gonna be so By we, I mean you. <laughs> Come here. Woo. <laughs> oh, it feels good. It's like warm, kind of. I don't know. It's actually a little chilly. It's weird though, because we've never had a storm like this. Our That's storms are always freezing, so it's like. Time we'll probably ever experience this. Yeah, it's very weird. Okay, we have officially made it through our first and probably only hurricane that we will ever experience, and it was honestly not as bad as everyone said it was going to be. I think by the time it hit our area, it really didn't get that bad. I heard that areas in the desert like Palm Springs got it a lot worse. They said the valley was gonna get it, but all we got late, late last night was a ton of rain and super, super strong winds. I was kind of terrified that my apple tree was gonna break, honestly because it was blowing it like completely sideways and it's a miracle not only is it still standing but the apple actually didn't even fall off it just got wet I really thought it was gonna go down this thing has grown so much in the last year by the way when I planted it it was about as tall as this apple is and this year it really took off but it did not break neither did those two which I was a little bit worried about over there because they're still kind of small but other than that we survived our first hurricane and probably only like I said. If any of you guys are in Southern California or Nevada or Arizona where it was supposed to be pretty bad, I hope you guys are dealing with it okay. I, like I said, I saw like there was a lot of flooding, but I didn't see anything about anyone getting injured or anything, which is a huge relief, but hopefully everybody is doing okay and the worst of it is through at this point. At least it is in this general vicinity. I think it's still heading north, but it's starting to lower the winds and all of that. So hopefully nobody's injured and everybody got through everything fine. It was honestly a lot more mild than we had anticipated, so I'm hoping that was the case for everybody. But anyways, we are doing well. Just took Emma to school for the day, and she has dance today for the first time of the season or whatever, so it's a busy day over here. Kicking off this year to a good start, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.